Okay, everybody, here's the next segment of Daniel's birthday special, in which this time around, I have elected to play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Kids Edition for the PC. You saw the last segment, which was already smarter than a fifth grader for the Wii. I had a chance to win Daniel a million dollars. I went for it, but unfortunately, I ended up flunking out with $25,000 because Alaska has more islands than Hawaii. Oh my! Kids edition. Thank you, Regis Decay. <laughs> I mean, thank you, Aubrey Decay, not Regis. That's okay. How many people are going to play? By yourself. Well, fair enough. You know what, Eugene? You gave me a good idea. I'm going to use the name Regis Decay. Okay, here we go. I am going to use that name. All right, here it is, your very first question. It's worth $100. Here we go. For $100. Which of these U.S. holidays traditionally marks the end of summer? Uh, that would be Labor Day. You're thinking C is styling. Okay. Cool, that's right. And that's worth $100. the first one, but they're gonna get much tougher now. Let's see what's in store for you for your $200 question. Here we go now for $200. A shirt sleeve is designed to cover what part of the body? The arm. Ready to commit to answer C already? Good. Hey, you're right. $200, just like that. 200 big ones. Hey, another hundred is just one kid question away. Take a look. Here we go for three hundred dollars. What part of the body does a person use to wink? Eyelid. Quick to press answer A. All right. You're obviously pretty sharp. That's correct. Just one three hundred dollars. You're on the board with three hundred dollars. Let's see how you do with the next question. Here we go for $500. On the TV show Malcolm in the Middle, how many siblings does Malcolm have? Well, in the beginning he has an, uh, two older brothers and a younger brother, and then he has a baby brother later on, so I'll say A, three. You're going to take a chance on answer A. Smooth move, you got it. And we got $300, or $500, excuse me. Going for a thousand. Excellent work, my friend. Now let's see if you can double your money with this next question. I'll be guaranteed one thousand dollars if I can answer this question. On, in the Yogi Bear TV cartoons, what is the name of the ranger who watches over Jellystone Park? Ooh, Ranger Rick, Ranger Smith, Ranger Bob, or Ranger Taylor? Ooh, I don't know this one. Need a little help? No. Ask the audience. Oh, 51% said Ranger Smith, 37% Ranger Rick. Help, is it? 15 seconds on the clock, please. Oh, that's no help. Hesitant about trusting the kids in our poll, huh? Yeah, that's not good okay, enough for me. Kid, go ahead. Select a life. Phone a friend. Science is a guy to call for this one. He's got a knack for science, but mostly computer stuff. Regis Philbin Lance, how are you? Syntax error. Sorry about that, Regis. I didn't know it was you. Say, we're playing the Kids Edition of Millionaire right now, and we sure could use your help. No problem. I just defragged my brain, and I'm ready to go. What's the question? Here we go. Well, I watch that cartoon all the time. I was going to do a web page devoted to it, but there's already like thousands of them. Hey, I knew you'd be up on this subject. Yep. Answer B. Ranger Thanks Smith. Quick okay. Answer. Bye now. Later days, Regis. See you online. Well, our young computer junkie says B. What do you I'll think? I'll trust him and the audience to say B, Ranger Smith, final answer. You're thinking our phone a friend is right. Okay. Well, I burned two lifelines, but... Nice. I won $1,000. Right. $1,000 in the bank. 
You've got just 10 questions left until we add a lot more zeros to that number. Here we go, for $2,000, and I'm down to the 50-50. Which of these can be found in the state of Illinois? Sears Tower. Going with answer B for sure. Okay. Smooth move, you got it. Two grand. Hey kid, you're really on a roll. Now let's see how you do with your $4,000 question. We're going for $4,000. What is the symbol of the 4-H club? A 4-leaf clover? Quick to press answer A. All right. Smooth move. You got it. Going for 8. You're booming along right now. But we've got 8 more chances to stump you before you walk away as a kid millionaire. For $8,000. Vince McMahon is most closely associated with what type of sports programming? WWF Wrestling. You're thinking C is styling. Okay. Cool, that's right. $8,000, about to go for $16,000. You really know what's what, don't you? And you're more than halfway there. Let's get back to the action with your $16,000 question. Which of these forms of music was a forerunner to jazz? Uh, ragtime. Going with answer B for sure. Okay. Nice yes! Job, kid. You're right. Get the next question right, and I'm guaranteed thirty-two thousand dollars. You're just one measly question away from winning thirty-two thousand dollars and another safe haven. No pressure, huh, kid? Let's see. And I'm only down to the fifty-fifty. What is added to a bar of Irish soap that causes it to float? Air. You're thinking C is styling. Okay. Nice going, you're right. $32,000. Five away from a million. Well, for 64000 I still have a 50 50. You know, you must be the smartest kid in your class. You've managed to get to the second safe haven of the game, and that million bucks is just five questions away. Let's play. For 64000 here we go. In the classic Nancy Drew mystery books, who is Nancy's full-time housekeeper? I think it's Hannah Gruen. Let's go with it. For real? Is that your final answer? I'll say Na Hannah Gruen, A, final answer. Quick I'll save to the press 50 answer 50. A, all right. I'll try to save it for the million. Cool, yes. that's right. About to go for $125,000. $64,000 in your column. No stopping you when it comes to these questions, huh, kid? Well, let's see how you do with this next one. It's worth $125,000. Here we go. In 1967, the Six Day War occurred in what region of the world? I'm pretty sure it's the Middle East. Is that really your final answer? Well, that's what I'll go with. I'll say the Middle East. D, final answer. You think answer D totally rules? Okay! Pretty sure. You are yes. wicked right. Three away. Still haven't found anything you don't know. And we've only got three more chances. 
Let's get back to the action with your quarter million dollar question. Here we go. This is worth $250,000. Which of these cities was the western end point of the Erie Canal when it was completed in 1825? Give me the 50-50. 50-50 it is. Computer, please pull out two of the answers, making sure one of the answers left is the correct one. Okay, let's hope that was you. See, Buffalo, New York, final answer. Is that, like, totally your final answer? Buffalo, New York, C. I'll take that $93,000 gamble. You think answer C is pretty tight, don't you? Yep. You are yes. wicked right. Hey, this isn't just who wants to be a quarter billionaire. You better check out the half billion dollar question. Out of lifelines, though. Here you go, for $500,000. What gas compresses about 78% of the air in the Earth's atmosphere? I will say... Nitrogen. Final answer. Cool. Is that your final answer? I will take that $218,000 gamble. Answer D is the one for you. Cool. Nice. Yes! You're right. One million dollars coming up. Okay. Get your thinking cap on now. Here comes your one million dollar question. What do the initials of the hip hop clothing label FUBU stand for? Friends United, Brothers United, Fashion Unusual, Be Unusual? Feel up, be up, for us, by us. I'm taking the 500 grand, so I don't know. Stopping at the top of the list. If I had to guess, I'd say okay. fashion unusual, be unusual. The answer that would have kept you in the game? It was for us, by us. I would have been wrong. That's terrific. A half million dollars. Very impressive. You clearly got what it takes to win the million. Come on back and prove to me right now that you could do it. Let's play another round of... Who wants to be a millionaire? Kids edition. And we'll wrap it up for this part of Daniel's birthday special. I'll see you all for the Jeopardy segments in just a little bit.